just started some Final Fantasy battle music, but it shouldn't be too obvious. Okay. Maybe I'll add some later. Uh, when you're least suspecting it. No. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, this is a great level for showing the differences of like ways you can do like missions in this game. If you look right over there, there's a fence. Yeah, you can actually <laughs> you can actually go through the fence and sneak through the fence. No. We oh, could, you could just uh, go straight forward and barge in. Yep. Oh. You know, we could uh, we could actually try and talk to these guys. Okay, this so, guy definitely hangs around with Jacob and the Wolves. Yeah, that's exactly why we're going to seduce him. Because obviously Jacob and the Wolves, that we didn't know from the sub subcontext of the film, are obviously gay. And Bella is obviously a homophobe. Exactly. Why are you like this way? Sorry, we're born like this. We're born like that's this. That's disgusting! It's a curse. It's a curse to be really sexy and strong. I know, seriously, that... That guy is like, what, 17, 18, we're about like, what, 21, 22. The guy's built, he's got more muscle mass than two of us and like three other guys. I know, it's, it's really ridiculous. Um, he's like Mini Hulk. For a new man, us. Holy shit. I, I think we just got transported into Vice City here. I feel like I can get sucked up his nose. Look at that. That's a cocaine nose if I ever saw it. Seriously, look at the way he's dressed. He's like, it's this is Vice City. We haven't, we we've been back we're in Vice yeah, City. We're now in Vice City, so uh, let's see. I'm looking for Astrolite. Got any? You know, there's some pretty <laughs> random blue drug bubbles in the background. Yeah, that's to show where items are. So. Uh, let's try and convince this guy with our awesome convincing powers. These are not the droids you're looking for. Like you know if you can convince him of stuff, can we convince him to give us that gold chain he's wearing? Pretty sure he can get a couple um, bucks for that at the pawn shop. Yeah, we know him. How is our fan, Mercurio? Uh, came for the astrolite you promised him. I accept. Oh shit, we're getting attacked. But he attacked first, so we're just gonna beat him to death with a big combat. Yeah, we're not breaking up. Incredibly deep and emotional side to Edward. It's just that when he's provoked, he goes sick. With a beat! Oh my god, that baseball bat just caused an explosion! You bitch. <laughs> You're going down. Take it well there, you ready, brother. Fiddy well, brother. Bit of the old ultra violence. Attack. What are you waiting for? Go horror show in the moment, how? See, I've now activated my super Edward speed. Actually, Dodge I Dodge around all their attacks and kick them. Actually, I was just thinking about it, even though it'd be a very, like, one-dimensional kind of game. You know, because the Warriors was made into a game. Mm hmm I reckon Clockwork Orange could work as a game. Yeah, probably. Uh, we're gonna pick up the weapons, but only because I intend to kind of sell them later, so. Yep. And we'll pick up the Astrolite. And uh, that ends our... Uh, well, not ends yet, because... We're gonna, well, we're kind of making one big two-part uh, thing, I think. I know we're... T over the 10-minute mark, unless this is starting into the next video, which is, like, the end of the first video and the beginning of the next video. Yeah, we, we could do that. Um, so, stick around, it'd be awesome. Uh, yeah, there's just one, one last guy to kill. Yeah. Apparently, if you get battered in life, you come up with numbers. <laughs> Fucking hell, you just whopped that guy from the side of the screen. And yeah, there's one important lesson you'll learn from this video, it's that case of if you're ever gonna go buy drugs, beat up the drug dealers and steal the drugs. So it's a actually, lot cheaper uh, than paying for them. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, um We don't oh. we don't could we don't condone the selling of buying good drugs. Um, not a taking. I think uh there's a patched version where you can actually like turn the TV on there and it shows parts of the game. Nice. And it shows where you can unlock a secret in the game, but we're not going to do that, so. Um, you know what, let's just end it here. This is good, so, uh... This is, well... This is Sid and... The Ben Kenobi signing off. Yep, yeah, uh, we'll see you next time. Goodbye! And yeah.